Well, it's been a busy weekend for first responders in Youngstown. We made this map to give you a better idea of just how busy they've been. Police were first called Saturday morning to the intersection of Mahoning Avenue and Halls Heights. Two people were shot there. Then, late last night, they were called out to East Ravenwood on the city's south side for reports of shots fired there. Shortly after that, heading to the north side, they were sent to Wick Park after a woman was found shot there. And at the at the same time, a house on Saranac was hit by gunfire. Then early this morning, police responded to a crash where two people were hurt at the intersection of South and Samuel. That intersection still closed off this morning. Crews were first called out around 3 o'clock this morning. This is what the scene looked like when they got there. Police tell us two cars crashed, and they aren't sure how it happened. Uh, a man was taken to the hospital. He is in critical condition. A woman was also taken, but she is expected to be okay. Meanwhile, police are investigating multiple shooting incidents that happened overnight. This is video from the scene at Wick Park that we were just telling you about. A woman was found shot there around 12:30. You can see police surrounding a car which appeared to be empty. It's not clear what they were looking for or if anyone was arrested at the scene. Police say the woman who was shot is in stable condition. They aren't sure if she was shot at the park or if she was shot somewhere else and ended up at the park. Now, police are investigating if whether or not the woman who was shot there uh, was connected to another shooting scene nearby. They were actually called to Saranac Avenue shortly after the park where they say a house was shot at. They tell us no one was hurt there, but you can see the front windows were shot out. Officers were first called out Saturday morning to a shooting on the city's west side. It happened just before 1030 at Hall Heights. Police tell us two people, a man and a woman, were shot. The suspect ran from the scene, but police were able to find him. Youngstown Detective Rod Foley talked to First News about what possibly led up to the shooting. Say some type of verbal altercation erupted, and then uh, people heard gunfire and people fleeing the area. It's unusual to get this type of altercation in broad daylight, you know, and certainly on uh, this part of town, we don't generally get, you know, rapid gunfire uh, out here in multiple casings and. Uh, it's unusual. Captain Foley tells us the shooting is still under investigation, and we will continue to keep you updated on all the shooting activity from this weekend, both here on First News and WKBN.com, as we learn more details.